So today I'll be showing you how to make your own base on water, and more specifically, how to build a pirate ship in Padworld. This is actually inspired by a Reddit post from Orion Eriko, where he basically showcased his pirate ship in his world. So what I did is I tried my best to recreate the whole thing, so that I can show you how to build it if you want to have this in your world. It's honestly pretty cool to have, and the pirate ship is surprisingly spacious, so you can turn this into one of your bases if you wanted to. I'll be showing you where you can start building this, how to build the main ship itself, and more things that you might want to add to spice up how your base looks. So first up, let's talk about where you can actually build this. So the place that you're looking for is going to be at negative 475 and negative 880. You are going to see a bunch of floating debris in this area, and that is how you are going to build on top of the water. You can get here by using a flying mount, and I recommend using one that can rest above water. This area is kind of far from the mainland, so your mount is going to have to rest and get stamina back every once in a while. Once you find this area, you would want to look for this part where you can see the small boat and place four foundations, basically following the wooden planks right in front of the boat. It's kind of tricky to find the right angle and positioning, but you have to make sure that you are able to place four foundations that go in a straight line. This is going to be the base for your ship, and it will also be the floor for your lower deck. Also make sure to pay attention to where the wooden foundations are facing, because you are not going to be able to break this later on, not unless you want to break your ship. So moving on, I actually decided to recreate this whole thing on land because the footage for when I was building this for the first time is a little bit all over the place so I'll be showing you this instead to make it easier for you to follow along. And so the same thing with the one I showed you before, we're gonna be starting the build with 4 pieces of wooden foundations. Next up, we are going to place 3 walls like this on both ends. Then we are going to place wooden roof tiles, basically connecting all the way to the other end and also extending this outwards by another tile. We are going to do the same thing for the other side and this will basically be used to give the ship those diagonal angles on the side. Next up, you can go ahead and break one of them and now you will be able to place a slanted roof to make your pirate ship look more like a proper ship from outside. Do it 4 times on this side, place a wall after you place the roof, and basically copy the same thing on the other side. After you do that, you can go ahead and break all of the remaining tiles. So this wall is going to be the back of our ship, and make sure that the back side is facing towards the wooden hut right outside. The pirate ship should be facing away from the debris, so that you can build more stuff right in front. Next, you are going to place more wooden roof, and this is going to act as the flooring for your lower deck. It's going to go around, basically making a U-shape, and also on this part, make sure that you are consistent with how you place your tiles, and where the wooden planks are facing. Next up, you're going to place another roof, and this will be for the stairs going up to the main deck. And then go ahead and place more tiles, extending forward by one tile, and basically copy the size of the lower deck to the main deck. So once you get the upper deck to be the same size as the lower deck, then we can start building the captain's cabin. For this one, it's going to be a 3x1 room that will be extended outwards by another tile. So place a wall like this to outline the captain's cabin. And then place a door right in front. So next up, we are going to place triangular walls like this, and this will be for the stairs going up to the ship's helm. Go ahead and place more wooden roof, and then we are going to place more windowed walls at the very back. And also don't forget to add more triangular walls to give it a nice looking sharp angle. 
And then going back to the lower deck, we're going to continue adding more walls. And what I like to do is to place a bunch of windowed walls for the sides and use regular walls for the very back. Next up, go ahead and add more tiles for the lower deck to help you move around as we continue to build the front of the ship. We are going to place a wooden roof right here in the middle and one more roof to connect this on the tile above. Next up, we are going to place another roof like this and the same thing for the other side. And after you do this, you can now get rid of the tile underneath. Now for this one, it's going to be personal preference whether you decide to leave this wall up or actually get rid of this to give it a more angular look. That is how it looks without the wall and that is how it looks with the wall. Hopefully in the future we can place inverted triangular walls because that will be perfect for this scenario. And then moving on, we're going to place more wooden roof like this and then get rid of the wall that we're talking about or leave it if you want to. And so after that, you are essentially done with making the base model of the ship and now you can start decorating. So when it comes to decorations, I did copy some of the designs from the original post but I also made some changes that I think improves the base a little bit. Of course you can go crazy and design the ship however you want but these are just the things that I particularly like so you might also want to add this in your build. So the first one is going to be the railings for the ship. You can either use iron fence or the barricades because they cost the same so it just depends on which one you like better. I have the barricades outlining the ship and then I also have the iron fence right beside the entrance going down to the lower deck. One more thing that I recommend placing is the statue of power to basically be the decoration for the bow of the ship. The only thing is that the two barricades closest to the statue actually keeps on randomly breaking. I'm not exactly sure why but that is one thing to keep in mind. And as for the pal box, you can easily put this in your base by breaking the three walls right here and you probably need to extend the floor by one tile so that you can place the pal box on the helm. And after you place the pal box, you can go ahead and rebuild the wall that you destroyed. And also if you wanted to, you can also build the mast that is basically made out of wood and bar stool with a monitoring stand at the very top. You have enough room on the ship to be able to scale upwards and make it as high as you wanted to so it can be a very cool addition to your ship. And as for the lower deck, you have plenty of space to work with, so feel free to turn this into whatever you want. Especially for the space at the back, you have a ton of room to set up your different crafting stations, and also plenty of room for more storage. So yeah, that is how you can build a pirate ship base in Palworld. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to put it down in the comments below. And if you want to see more guides like this, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.